I want to talk to you about a video I came across about a young girl whose name is Sophieology. The surgery that I had, a lot of people have had it and they did not wake up, but God woke me up. God woke me up. She calls it a Christian BBL. And the reason why she calls it a Christian BBL is because she wants to show to people all over the world that as a Christian, she wants to thank God for allowing this BBL to go so well. She was recovering well from it and she wanna thank God for it. So she calls it a Christian BBL. I find that to be very disturbing. And the reason why I find it to be disturbing is because as a Christian, this affects me. When you say and when you do something as a Christian, it affects the Christian community. Now, don't get me wrong. I get there's people that are like pro-natural bodies, like don't do anything to yourself. Don't give the mirrors. Don't do this one. Don't do that one. I understand. I'm not personally that person. Like I'm here for anything that makes you look better, feel better, have more confidence and just enjoy your life. I'm here for anything that makes you look better feel better have more confidence and just enjoy your life what i find that was very wrong in what she said is that it made her feel good and she is for everything that makes her feel good and that's why she did it so how about people who are alcoholics and when they drink they say it makes them feel good how about husbands and wives who cheat on each other and they state that when they cheat on their husband or wife that it makes them feel better how about people who beats up people and who are even murderers, but it feels good because it helps them release their psychopath situation that they're going through or their anger management that they're dealing with. I also get that there are people that look up to me for certain things. I hope there's other things you can find to look up, but if it's that, I should have big back and wide waist. Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to look up to me for. And whatever choices I make in my life, I beg, have your disappointment and make a decision. Do you love me, yes or no? What you do affects people. According to the Bible that I read, <laughs> the Holy Bible, it says that in Luke 12 verse 10, that anyone who blasphemes the name of the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. So her actions was definitely blasphemy. She blasphemed the name of the Lord by saying Christian BBL. I don't want young children growing up who are Christian in church knowing that it's okay to have a BBL because according to 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 to 20, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit where the Holy Spirit dwells, which means you do not have total ownership of your body. Your body belongs to the Lord and you cannot do anything you want to with it. And bring the Lord in the garage. You going to hell. Even people who are not Christian know that this is totally wrong. And they even mention that this girl is a definitely different type of breed of person and she's going to hell. I wouldn't necessarily say she's going to hell. I would say that God got her through this surgery, through this BBL, which she thanks God for, where millions of young girls die from, that God gave her a second chance to repent. Repent. Come as you are, but please, do not stay as you are. And I'm gonna repeat this again. Come as you are, but don't stay as you are. 